works! Woo! Take that, science! Okay, fine! Everything's fine! We got a bunch of sand, zero contact with the outside world, a crash plan... Who cares? To adventure! Not an adventure. To business trip! Sure, first comes wallowing. Yeah. Yes! Ha-ha! It works! Woo! Take that, science! Okay, hey, Uncle Scrooge, or Donald, or literally anybody who can hear me, this is Della Duck. <laughs> Now, it is my honor to present you with a true delicacy. Sup, party people? I'm back in the his Oh, no. Knew it was wrong as soon as I said it. Sorry, that was terrible. Can I get a do-over? <laughs> now, close your eyes. Feel the sky. Doing it. I'm doing it. Ah! Yup. Dang it. See, Donald? Ah! Nature's not so bad. That's it. Great. Ah! Yeah. No. Ah. Oh, this is ridiculous. I should be out there with my family. Mom, look at my super cool fins. Ah, I have no family. Pretty cool robot leg. I'm still working on it. Maybe add some jets or a can opener. Anyway, I've been able to survive in the thin lunar atmosphere thanks to Gyro's Oxy-2. It provides oxygen, water, and nutrition, and tastes terrible. Black licorice, worst flavor ever. Dewey, Dewey, Louie, I know you're not used to having a mom. And I am not used to being one. But I'll figure it out as we go along. In time. We all will. Uh, Dewey! Oh, I'm so glad you're okay. Thanks for saving my son from the danger, Ow. you pattern! Can't let you do it! But I must... Great! And possibly disrupt all of time. Oh, but it's one little cave duck. Small problems can turn into big problems if not prevented early. Step on a butterfly in the past. Dude, why would you step on a butterfly? That's sick, lady. Sick. It's a hypothetical situation. Good. Keep it that way. Kids, take him to the TV room before the butterfly basher here gets to him. We're okay. Oh my gosh, no magic can kill me. I'm the chosen one. No. Sorry, I didn't mean to startle you. I, we weren't talking about you. We were talking about another foul-beaked beast. You don't know her. I found this over by the statue. You guys helped me fix my sphere. It's only right that I fix yours. Thank you, Bella. That's too kind. These are my kids. Their heads aren't really shaped like eggplants. I'm not a good artist. But thanks to you, I'm gonna have a chance to be a good mom. I know what it's like to be separated from your people. To be forced to trust someone else to protect them. No one could ever protect your people as well as you, Penny. But as long as they're with me, I'll try with all I've got. I promise. Rare failed Scrooge adventure. First comes wallowing. Decades of searching. Then anger. Ah! Go watch a dumb helmet anyway! Then he shakes it off. I'll show those malignant mealworms or my name isn't Scrooge McDuck! See? Oh, I think I may have messed up a bit at the end there. Are you kidding? You were terrifying! Arming torpedoes. How are we supposed to survive? It's fine! Everything's fine! We got a bunch of sand, zero contact with the outside world, a crash plane we can use as a house, and... Hey! Shoo! Monster taking my stuff! Ah! <laughs> Living here is great! Taking clouds is way cooler than flying planes. Support your kid. <laughs> as long as you're happy, that's what matters. Uncle Scrooge, remember how great you felt when I came back from the moon after all those years? All the unconditional love. More than you'll ever know, lass. I remember that feeling always. Great. I need you to really hold on to that feeling. Twas the night before Christmas when all through the house old Scrooge laid barbed wire about Santa he groused, armed to the teeth against the tree totaling traitor, that roof climbing, two timing winter invader. Can we please read the normal version of this poem? Where Santa arrives on the roof with such a clatter? That man is not allowed in our home. He knows what he did. But we don't! 
The less you know, the better. You don't know, do you? <gasps> Such a clatter! He's breached the perimeter! To battle! Plan C. I'm gonna rebuild the Spear of Selene. I mean, how hard can it be? It's just rocket science. Oh boy. The place? El Dorado. The time? When I was your age. The legend? The horror known as the Gilded Man. The Aztec android was meant to protect the people, but he blew a fuse and mangled them instead. Metal gnawed through flesh, leaving a trail of bodies until the Golden City was stained blood red. I grabbed a wrench, crawled inside the gold-minted monster, and hacked away at his clockwork innards, tearing him apart from the inside, piece by piece, with reckless abandon. Wham! He let out a ghastly, rusted shriek. <sighs> until finally his gory gears turned their last. Stand up! Good thing Donald's not here. <laughs> Wait, Huey, Dewey, and Louie? No, 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 their names were supposed to be Jet, Turbo, and Rebel. I could have been Turbo? I told Donald. I wrote it down in case no one could understand him. I could have been Turbo! Turbo! <laughs>